my heart is actually pounding <laughs> and I'm kind of scared. I'm still thinking whether I should make this video or not. <laughs> so hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to solve the NEET exam paper which is like the med school entrance exam in India. I am a med student and I'm in transition between second and third year. Right now I'm preparing for the United States medical licensure exam, a beast of an exam and we are going to solve the NEET exam paper today. So thanks to Slesha. This is her idea. Thanks for this amazing idea, which makes me scared to solve the NEET exam paper again. I gave NEET back in 2017 and it's been about five years because after that I did my bachelor's in biochem and started med school. So after all this while, let's try if a med student can answer NEET exam questions. So to up the thrill, we have something else, a real nice chili, like a J chili. If I'm gonna make two mistakes or more, I have to eat this chili. Slesha sent me a document with all the screenshots and without the answers, of course. But uh, when I'm editing, I'll put on the answers somewhere on the screen so you guys know if I'm answering right or not. And in the end, we'll check up and I'll let you know how I did. First question, hmm. Why does it have to be on pollination? Identify the incorrect statement about pollination. Flowers produce foul odor to attract flies and beetles. That's easy, that's Rafflesia, that's correct, we have to find the incorrect one. Moths and butterflies are the most dominant pollinating agents among insects. Pollination by water is quite rare in flowering plants. I don't think that happens, does it? Not sure about that. Uh, so quite rare, yeah. Pollination by wind is the most common amongst abiotic pollination. What is abiotic? Abiotic, okay, yeah, wind pollination happens. Hmm. So pollination by water is quite rare, I guess. Yeah, that's true, incorrect. I'm gonna go for bees, Adam, but bees and butterflies pollinate a lot. So, uh, incorrect. I'll still go for this. I would f go for bees. Okay, okay, this is something I should be good with. So, we have to match the tissue with the type of tissue they are. Hmm? Bronchioles, ciliated epithelium, pretty good. So A should be 4, A should be 4. Oh, there's only one option, that's easy then. B, goblet cells, which is glandular. Tendons are dense regular connective tissue. Adipose tissue is a loose connective tissue, yeah. Wow, they made things pretty easy here, that's nice. Cystogamous flowers are invariably autogamous. Wow, what is cystogamous? Cysto, sister, I don't know. Cystogamy is disadvantageous as there is no chance of cross pollination. I don't know that term, so we're gonna flick this question. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, let's go with both correct. Next question At what stage of the birth the oogenesis process is initiated? Oogenesis is the formation of eggs in the female, um, so the female germ cells kind of. So that's before birth. The most likely is embryonic developmental for me. This is okay. DNA polymorphism forms the basis of. DNA polymorphisms is like different specific kinds of sequences. Genetic mapping can be done, yes. DNA fingerprinting. Translation, I don't know, it doesn't get translated, it's really not translated. And uh, DNA fingerprinting, yeah, people have specific polymorphisms in the DNA sequence. So I'll go for both. Option one. Okay, what is this? Chromosomes. I should be comfortable here. Metacentric chromosome, acrocentric, telocentric. Telocentric is the easiest in general, it's the like the uh, centromere at, in, at the end. Centromere at terminal end, so that's how I'll go. That's what matches for me. D22. So D22 is. Oh, only one option? Okay. That makes more sense then. Centromere slightly away from the middle one. Shorter arm. Um, and uh, and these are four four, so I'll just check them. Centromere slightly away from the middle, forming one short arm and one long arm. So metacentric is equal. Um, so that's like this one two equal arms so a is three a is three yeah this one matches so a is three that's right b says acrocentric is one centromere is situated close to and forming one extremely short and one extremely long c is submetacentric which is four centromere is slightly away from the middle forming one shorter and one longer arm yeah that's the right one then three 
Okay. <clears throat> Exotype of sex determination can be found in oh no, I was I thought they'll ask male female and stuff. Okay. This is not hmm, I'm not I'm just studying humans, but I probably have read this. Exo can be determination can be found in Definitely not monkeys. Uh Drosophila melanogaster, I remember it's XY like humans. No exo. Grasshopper or birds. Birds give eggs, but the females give eggs. XO or X, X, I don't know. Grasshopper, I don't remember studying of the sex difference in that. Yeah, I'll, I'll just go with birds, XO, because the female probably, it's easy, because the female directly lays eggs. Yeah, I'll just go with birds. Which of the following occurs due to the presence of autosome linked dominant trait? Autosomal dominant. Autosomal dominant, which one is autosomal dominant? Hemophilia. No, thalassemia sickle cell is definitely not. Hemophilia, thalassemia. Thalassemia is not. Mitonic dystrophy is. Mitonic dystrophy is autosomal dominant. We still study that in med school. So, yeah. Uh, hemophilia is um, not dominant as well, but I'm not sure which one it was. <laughs> okay, next one. We have a colorblind female, so colorblind female would be XX. Marries a man whose mother was also colorblind, so this is the man whose mother mother was also colorblind, so XX. And father is not given. What are the chances of a progeny having colorblindness? So we have to find the chances of this child being affected. So we know that father would probably be normal because the mother is colorblind. We just take the father normal if not given that's uh, and this is a male so it's like x y the y will be from the father so it's definitely a carrier and the mother is 100 percent having the gene and giving it so uh just like general chi square which is like x y from the father x x from the mother x x x x x y x y uh all females are diseased and all males are uh, diseased too. This is like disease, not carrier. Yeah. So all of them are diseased, which is like hundred percent. Yeah. Still there in med school, guys. Um, this is still gonna be there in med school. <laughs> which one of the following will accelerate phosphorus cycle? I know nitrogen cycle is related to lightning and um, roots. Okay. Weathering of rocks. Phosphorus in the rocks is found in the rocks. Rainfall and storm is for nitrogen, uh, burning of fossil fuels, carbon, um, volcanic activity, I don't know, sulfur. Why is this there in biology though? Wow, the environment chapter. I would just go for rocks. Rocks might have the mineral. Hmm. The entire fleet of buses in Delhi. <laughs> Again, general question. Were converted to CNG from diesel? Okay, in reference to this, which of the following statement is false? It is cheaper than diesel, I guess. Yeah. It can not be adulterated like diesel. Not sure about that. So, um, CNG can burn efficiently than diesel. That is true. And the same diesel engine is used in CNG buses, making the most cost conversion low. How can the same engine be used? No. I guess this is more of general knowledge. So that's incorrect. Yeah, this one is false. <laughs> Next. Okay. Appearance of recombination nodules on the homologous chromosome during meiosis characterizes sites at which crossover occurs. Yeah. Terminalization, symptonemal, synaptonemal complex, bivalence. Recombination nodules. Recombination helps in crossing over. So, one. Habitat loss and fragmentation, overexploitation, alien species invasion, and coextinction are caused are causes for coextinction. Alien species will lead to competition, overexploitation. Okay, and fragmentation. Everything is disruptive, I guess. Coextinction, biodiversity loss. Yeah, no, but alien species probably will increase biodiversity. Total guesswork, guys. <laughs> not total guesswork. I don't know this term. Population explosion. I'm not sure. Uh, I'll just go with competition for this one. Yeah. 
So, next one, next question. Which one of the following never occurs during mitotic cell division? So A, it happens in meiosis. Taxonomic categories which, oh god, you still have this question on neat. Which hierarchical, hierarchical arrangement in ascending order is correct? <laughs> so, um, well, kingdom, yeah, kingdom, order, kingdom order. There was a mnemonic for this, which I don't remember. Kingdom order and then I don't know, class phylum or phylum class. That's all right. Class phylum, phylum class. Phylum sounds bigger <laughs> than a class. Yeah, so I'll just go with phylum two. I hope my flings are going good. Select the incorrect statement regarding synapses. Chemical synapses use neurotransmitters. That should be right. Incorrect one is impulse transmission across a chemical synapse is always faster than across an electric. No, uh, electric are faster. Membrane of presynaptic and postsynaptic neuron are in close proximity in an electrical synapse. Yeah. They're always close because the potential has to jump. Electric current can flow directly from one neuron into other across the electrical synapse. Yep, that's why it's called electric potential change. So I'll go with two that seems to me to be wrong. Next question. Given below are two statements. Decomposition is a process in which the detritus is degraded into simpler substances by microbes. Yeah, that's basic. That's right. Decomposition is faster if the detritus is rich in lignin and chitin. That should be false because uh, lignin, I don't remember exactly. Chitin is probably like a complex material found in the cell walls or like cockroaches and stuff have chitin, do they? So. Uh, that should be false. It does not make it faster. It will take more time then. So one is true and two is incorrect. So statement one is correct and two is incorrect. One. I'm sure about this. What is the net gain of ATP when each molecule of glucose is converted to two molecules of pyruvic acid? Yes, sir. I'm a med student. <laughs> two. <laughs> okay. Nice. Again, another match. Contraception and respective actions. Okay. Absence of menstrual cycle and ovulation following parturition is what is lactation or amenorrhea. So D is this, three. Uh, cover the cervix, blocking the entry of sperm. That's easy. Diaphragm. No, wait. IUD. Cover of cervix. Diaphragm. Yeah. Um, contraceptive pills. Increase fibrocytic sperm within the uterus. Intrauterine devices like copper T, and then we have contraceptive pill, inhibit ovulation and implantation. I'm glad I know this. A med student should know this, yeah. So, so this one, yeah, they tried to confuse you over there and there, yeah. Again, one more match the column. Oh, that's the last one, guys biological molecules and biological function. Steroids are hormones, easy, globulin. Glycogen is storage product, so we have these two, globin, globulin and thrombin. Globulin from breakdown of heme and thrombin for a biocatalyst for clotting. Yeah, so two and three, B being three, yeah. Oh yes, that's done. So I'll be right back, I'm gonna check this. Okay guys, so... <laughs> I just finished checking this and I would say I'm not too sad with how I did. Uh, my things kind of worked somewhere um, and some places I did make mistakes so you guys probably already know what my score is which is like 17 on 20. And it's not good because this devil is waiting for me. Yeah I'll eat it. Uh, but yeah let's just see. Three questions. Grass offer. I don't know about the sex determination of that, okay. I thought it's honestly birds because like birds, the the females lay the eggs. So there must be that mechanism. Woo. And this question, like really, why do they have this question in neat? Whoa. And yeah, again environmental question. 
habitat loss fragmentation is like biodiversity loss okay you successful Slisha. so i have to eat this chili for this chili and my mouth make sure you guys like subscribe if you're new um we're gonna make videos soon i'm gonna be done with my exam very soon and then i'm gonna be making videos regularly so make sure you like subscribe comment what question was the best part of the video and if you have any suggestions for future videos um most welcome um i took up the challenge 17 on 20 so three questions wrong i have to Thanks for watching, make sure you like and subscribe. <coughs>